Hello, it's Jane here from Practically Perfect Mums and today I'm going to be reviewing this LG 55 inch ultra high definition 4K smart TV which I've been sent to review by AO.com. Okay, so we've taken everything out of the box. It was really well packaged as you would expect with plenty of polystyrene to protect this television. And the other things in the box are this, which is the stand, those two parts, this one and this one, which are the stand. There's some fixing screws in there, a cable tie, mains cable, the remote control with batteries, and the user's guide. And that is it. Setting up the television is pretty straightforward. You just plug everything in and then follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be prompted to add things like your Wi-Fi settings and your location. You put your postcode in and then it gives you some location specific services. This is a smart television and to access the smart menu you use this home button here on the remote control and that will take you to a whole range of options such as Amazon and Netflix alongside all the catch-up TV channels as well. We have Sky ourselves so we won't necessarily use a lot of these features but some of these could be really useful along with the built-in free sets. My children were particularly keen on being able to watch YouTube on a 55 inch television screen. The first thing we noticed when the television was up and running was how good the picture quality looked compared to the 50 inch high definition television we had in there before. Um, it's 4K, so there are some 4K programs available, but if not, it has a function to upscale the picture. We have a Sky, as I mentioned, which we're going to have to upgrade to a 4K box, uh, but I don't think that's a problem to do. There are a number of presets if you go into the settings so that you can have the best picture quality for the type of programme that you're trying to watch, such as sports, uh, cinema or gaming. And there's also an eco function if you want to uh, save energy. And you can also, inside of those presets, you can also further adjust and the contrast etc. There's also another additional set of settings which has things like accessibility uh, options. So there are options for hard of hearing, audio guidance and high contrast which is really interesting because my son has a visual impairment where he has um, contrast problems so I'm looking forward to seeing um, how effective that will be for him. You can also set up parental restrictions. There's a magic sound tuning option so that you can op optimise the internal speakers for your particular room. And there's also energy saving modes. We've only had the television for a few days, but we're really pleased with what we've seen so far. One of the things I was worried about is that the new TV is a 55 inch across the diagonal, whereas our old one was a 50 inch, and I thought we might struggle to fit it into the gap. But actually, the modern design means that it doesn't, it's not much bigger around at all. It's, in fact, it's uh, one inch wider, roughly, and it's about one inch shorter so it doesn't really take up any more room and the, the the casing on the edge isn't sort of big and bulky like it was on the old one and the stand is really slim line so it does look much neater in the gap than the old one did. The picture quality is obviously um, looks really good I'm really impressed with that and that's only going to get better with more 4k programs becoming available and I think we've only scratched the surface with the smart TV aspect of it. Um, I noticed that we listen to music through a Sonos speaker and that just appeared on the television and we can control that from within the television. Also, I downloaded the LG TV Plus app onto my phone, which took a couple of moments to do, literally took less than a minute actually. And um, 
once you've downloaded it, you can control the television from your phone and also you can see the contents of your phone on the television in giant 55 <laughs> inch size screen. Um, so I think there's all sorts of things which we're going to discover over the coming weeks. So thank you very much to AO.com for inviting us to review this television. Thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.